Welcome to Pi Excellence Tutorials. And um, by the way, if you are looking for a tutor, you have an assignment, you have um, an exercise that uh, you need help, you can get in touch with me on the contact details, email or WhatsApp in the, I've thrown them in the description box. Okay, so in this video, we are going to solve a question from simple harmonic motion. A spring of negligible mass stretches three centimeter from its relaxed length when a force of 7.5 Newton is applied. A 0 0.5 kg particle rests on a frictionless horizontal surface and is attached to the free end of the spring. The particle is displaced from the origin to x equal to five centimeter and released from rest at t equal to zero. The first question says, what is the force constant of the spring? And the second question, what are the angular frequency, the frequency and the period of the motion? Okay, so now this is basically what we already know. We know that uh, the force, the restoring force, and uh, the, the the stretch x is um, they are opposite to each other. So if the force is in the positive direction, the stretch is going to be in the in the negative direction. Okay, so we're going to have force being equal to kx. And this force that we've been given is 7.5 Newton, okay? And the X we've been given is uh, three centimeter, okay? Three centimeters. So we can use these constants to, to find the K. Okay, so three centimeter, we have to convert it to meters for us to be able to, to, to find. So three centimeter, is basically 0 0.03 meters. So we multiply by 0 0.03 meters and divide through by 0 0.03 meters. And our K is going to be, so we have K, 250 Newton per meter. Okay, we're done with A, just like that. And we jump to B. What are the angular frequency? Okay, what are the angular frequency, frequency and period? So we have the relationship. Angular frequency is given by root of K, mass like that. So our K we found 250 Newton per meter. And the mass is 0 0.5 kg. It's given in the question. Don't get surprised. So where is the mass coming from? It's been given in the question. So when we find the, we find 22.4 per second. And that is going to be the angular uh, angular frequency. So now we have to find the frequency and uh, the period. So the relationship, there is a relationship between the angular frequency and the frequency and angular frequency and period or period and frequency. So we have this relationship. Okay. So, which is also equal to two pi over period like that. So we can start with this to find um, to find the frequency. So frequency is going to be angular frequency over two pi. The angular frequency we found second over two pi. So two pi is a uh, pi is a constant. So 
you can just punch it direct from the calculator. So we have frequency of 3.6 okay, per second. And that is going to be the frequency. And what is the period? The period is actually going to be frequency being equal to one over period. So that is going to be period being equal to one out of that. So we have one out of 3.6 per second. What do we get? We get 0 0.28 seconds. And that is going to be our, that's going to be our period. Okay. We go to the next question. What is the total energy of the system? So if you look at this system, the only energy that you're going to have is the potential energy in this system. Okay. When it's stretched, uh, when it displaces uh, x equal to five centimeter, and then it's because it's released from rest at time equal to zero. So the, the potential energy here is what is going to make, uh, to be the total energy in short you know, of the system. So we have, uh, sorry, let me write that. So total energy, total energy actually is supposed to be kinetic energy plus potential energy but we don't have kinetic energy. We have potential energy. We don't have velocity here. So that is why the kinetic energy is going to be zero. We don't have velocity. So what we have now, potential energy is given by half k x squared. So half and k we found to be 250 and x we've been given five centimeter five centimeter so that five centimeter we convert it to meters so it's going to be 0 0.05 meter now this is square so to punch this we're going to have 0 0.5 squared by 250 by so we have the total energy to be 0 0.3125 joules. That's going to be the total energy. So this is simple. You just need to, to understand what you're dealing with. Okay. And then we find D. What is the amplitude of this motion? Okay, so uh, the spring, it has been stretched. The spring has been stretched. Uh, okay, the spring has been stretched. So the particle displaced from the origin to 0 0.5 and then released from rest. Okay, so the amplitude, what would be the amplitude? What do you think? What would be the amplitude? So the amplitude would be actually five centimeters or 0 0.05 meters. And this, okay. So now, uh, what's the logic behind this? It has been, the spring has been stretched uh, to five centimeters. So now, since there is no velocity, there is no initial velocity in this uh, system, no initial velocity, and then it has been stretched. Meaning once it is released, it's not going to, to, to move beyond, okay? It's, going, it's not going to move beyond or above five centimeters because this is going to be the maximum displacement actually. 
because amplitude is supposed to be is the maximum displacement okay so it's not going to to move beyond five centimeters once it is released okay so we're going to stop the remaining questions in the next video so make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel if you have not yet subscribed and click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time a new video is uploaded. Okay.